What's up, y'all? It's your girl T, and I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to resize a wig that is too big. This is a vendor made wig, not a custom wig made by me. And um, the client sent it back because it was too big. So, um, what you see right here is just I split or parted the wig in half because it's too big in the back. So, I'm going to take some of that excess space out, but not the traditional way. I don't have time to take out um, every single uh, row. So keep watching. Okay, so I already know that when I pinch it along the back, there's about um, a little over an inch in the back that was um, needed to be removed. So right here, I am going to cut using my scissors straight down the middle of this wig. Yes, I'm going to cut it, cutting through the wefts and all, but don't worry, um, it will stitch it back together. So yeah, I'm gonna cut straight up. Now one thing about um, when I'm cutting, I'm going to take out some from one side and um, also some from the other side. So it's gonna kind of form a V tip when you get closer to the top near the closure. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you keep watching, you should be able to catch the concept. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of measuring out to see what I want to take out from the other side or how much. And don't worry, there will be some hair that will shed because we are cutting the wefts, but it will be just fine um, in the end. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other side. Remember, we want it to form a V tip. We don't want it to be like a big gap up towards the uh, closure. Okay, so now looking at it, I may have cut about two inches out um, because I cut straight up the middle and then cut one side up to meet the middle at the tip and the other side to meet the tip. If that makes sense, um, you'll see once I take those pieces out that I've cut. But yeah, it was actually more, but you just want to be careful because you don't want to cut too much out. Okay, so see that's one side that's taken out, but I'm also going to take the other side out. Um, you want to be careful because if you cut too much out, there's no way to really put it back versus you not cutting enough out. You can always go back and cut more. So less is better than cutting out too much. Okay, so there's the other section that I took out. And basically, it's almost like I took out the um, the amount of my wig tag. So here are both of the pieces that have been removed. Now we're simply going to align those tracks or those rows back up so that we can stitch those back together. And I'm going to hand stitch those first and then I'll go over it with the machine. So just make sure you be careful with um, how you are aligning the rows back together. You do want them to actually meet back together. Now, this is something that I wouldn't recommend for a beginner to do. Um, if you feel more comfortable with just cutting out each individual row um, to resize a wig, you can definitely do that. But I just find this to be a lot easier for me because I'm a little more experienced in um, wig making. So I'm comfortable with, you know, cutting through a wig. And if all else fails, if it was a complete fail, then I would just replace the wig. So just know that you're taking a risk, you're taking a chance if you do decide to try this method and it work or may not work for you. But if you follow these steps, then you should get the exact same results that I have gotten. Okay, 
Okay, so now that I'm done hand stitching it, I can flip the wig in, set out, and as you can see, it lines up pretty, pretty well, but we're still going to reinforce it with the machine just to give it, you know, a little more security. Okay, now you definitely want to make sure, um, you may can't see there, but that little tip part that I just put underneath the machine, you want to make sure that you back stitch that a couple times and also that that is not too wide. Okay, that should not be as wide as the bottom portion that you cut, cut out. Now, as for my machine settings, I am using a zigzag stitch to close up that center part that has been cut and restitched. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like after I have stitched it with the machine. Um, it's pretty secure. It's not going to come loose at all. If you want extra security, you can stitch it um, a second or third time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, right here, I'm just showing you, if you don't get a um, nice point, like a very thin part at the top, that you've cut out, then you may be left with like a little um, area that's bulky or that may stick out. Um, if so, then all you have to do is go back with your machine and you want to kind of fold that in and stitch it down. So I'm just trying to get on my mannequin head to see how it fits now, which it fits a whole lot better. It's definitely not as big and bulky in the back as it was. And yeah, it still fits comfortably and no one has to know that it has been cut down the middle or resized um, in any way because you can still style your wig, however. Okay, so that basically sums up a quick way on how I resize some of the wigs that are pre-made that are too big. Um, if this video helped you, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Bye, y'all.